Today, I'm going to teach you how to make a profile picture just like Intel edits. But before the video starts, I just want to let you know that less than 1% of you guys are subscribed. So if you could subscribe, that would mean the world to me. It's completely free, it supports the channel, and you can always undo it later. Enjoy the video. Step 1. Click on the link down below in the description. It's going to take you over to minimator.com slash download. So you're going to want to click on download installer, and it will start downloading automatically. Once you click it, it should go ahead and start downloading, just as it has right here. Click on the little arrow and then click on open. And now, just click on yes, I accept, and next and install. Just the typical procedure as to what you should do for downloading any EXE software. And once you've opened it up, you can click on new project. You can title this whatever you want. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be calling it tutorial. And then click on create. Click on the big old crafting table up here. Click on this little figurine silhouette. And then make sure the model selected type is human, variant, Steve, or Alex, whether or not you want a skinny or a little bit of a fatter model. I'm gonna go for the Steve model. Just because it's the head, it doesn't really matter. And you can click on browse. Go to wherever you have your image, select it, and then click on open. Once you click on open, go ahead and click on create. And there you go, your skin should be here. Right here on the right side of the app, click on the little arrow right by the background and click on show custom image, uncheck show clouds, uncheck show fog, disable the wind, and make sure you uncheck show ground as well. Now it should just look like your skin is floating in the air. All right, and now what you wanna do is go down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen and it should say timeline. And it should also say Steve or Alex, depending on what you've selected. And then you wanna click on the arrow right by the Steve text, and then make sure for body, right leg, and left leg, that eye icon is uh, hidden. So once you've done that, click on the little arrow right by the body text, and turn on head. And that way, you will be able to see just the head and you can scroll in or out with your scroll wheel to move it around. With left click, you can spin it around, look at the top, look at the bottom. But with right click, you can spin it around freely. So when you're zooming in, you can move it up or down and make sure you have a nice angle that you like. So once you've positioned it the way you like, again, left click is to move it around See the top, bottom, left or right. And then right click is to just move it around within the little panel that you have here already. Go on up to the little image icon, left click it, and then click on remove background. So once you're here, click on remove background and leave everything else the same with high quality rendering and keep aspect ratio. Click on image size, switch it to avatar so you get that nice square icon for PFPs, and then click on custom. That way you can change this to 4K. Um, this is an optional thing that you can do, but I find that it makes it much easier to use. Click on save, and now the image is going to be saved. At this time, you can close out of Minimator and then open up your software. I highly suggest using PixArt on your mobile device. If you don't have access to any kind of other device, I suggest using this online software called PixelR.com. Okay, so once you're in PixelR, I will also put this link in the description. You want to click on Create New. Make sure you don't click on Open Image or Load URL. Create New and title it whatever you want. Again, for the purpose of this video, I will be naming it Tutorial. Alright, so what we're going to do is we are going to make it 4K, just like our image was as we saved it. And now we're going to click on Create. So now that, it's, now that we have our empty layer, we can click on the little plus icon at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Click on image and then click on the new head that you've just saved. You might be off put by this little Minimator watermark, but you can easily remove it by using the cutout option. The icon looks like scissors and click on cutout. You can make a little shape like a square and do this and it should be gone because it's just selected that little part. If you want to move it around, then you can use the arrange and style option or you can move it around, ignore all these ads, please. And you can do everything you want to get your ideal profile picture. 
If you want a specific color, I recommend going online and searching up whatever color you'd like. Honestly, it doesn't matter. You can choose anything you'd like to just go behind your Minecraft head. So once you've found what you like, click on save image as, and then call it whatever you want, doesn't matter. Once you've found that image and downloaded it, click on the little plus arrow and click on image, and then add in that new color that you've just downloaded. Make it as big as you'd like, you can do whatever you'd like with it. And for me, I'm just gonna make it as big as possible to get a nice, good looking background. This is what I've got so far, and this is how you can get your head profile picture, and with a little background that looks pretty nice in my opinion. So then you can click on save. PNG saves it in the highest quality possible, and JPEG, eh, it's a little bit worse than PNG, and if you keep it at 90, it looks even worse. So I recommend just going with a PNG. Click on download, and now you got your own profile picture that looks just like Intel Edits. This is just an example, I used Intel Edit Skin as an example as well, and you can use your very own for your new profile picture. I hope this has helped, and I hope you learned something new. If this worked for you, be sure to comment and like down below, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.